is AEM. That's going to be very, very, let's see, a very patient match. Game Watch versus uh, Pac-Man. Yeah. But, you know, we're not watching that game. We're watching this game right now. Kira Flax versus Elgin in winner's semifinals. Luigi versus Rob. Luigi, you know, oh, wow, wait, going dark fit. I'm really curious to see how this happens because I play with Elgin a lot back in the Inland Empire and he's just able to kind of box Pit and Dark Pit out a lot utilizing right. his plungers and his fireballs that Pit, you know, can't really, you know, go up against. Right. But Kiraflex is a very, very different player for myself, able to be a lot more patient and wait for that dash attack range. The yeah. famous Kiraflex stand and wait for you to do something and then run in dash attack. Yeah. I mean, Kiraflex is all about flowing in the air. You know, he's all about, like, the, you know the mentality of, like, be like water. Uh, no, don't let your actions, like, be stiff. No, move with your opponent. He very much embodies that kind of mentality, but, like, in the air. You know, he's, he jumps and he waits for his opponent to, you know, throw out an option, and then he counters them when he lifts. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the hardest part about this character, just because Pit is actually the most middleweight character that he's able to get comboed by basically everybody that has like some weird combo. Yep. And then there's a down throw to down B. Yep, that should, ooh, ooh that was excellent fantastic DI. Fantastic DI, yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to get in with the uh, with the dash attack. Right. And being very good with his arrows to try to get Luigi to, uh, you know, get off of him. Ooh, but ooh, runs yeah. into that down B. And yet again, it's one of those moves that like, you don't expect a Luigi just to throw that out in neutral like that. But like Elegant would be like, ha ha ha, I'm not ordinary Luigi. I am the Luigi. Yeah. Oh wow, but that's a down smash just charging up in neutral, trying to see if uh, if Elgin is gonna fall for it, but definitely not. 69% now, this is so much damage on just that just by losing one neutral exchange. Oh, and I really like that getting up from ledge, but because Pit, you know, has multi-hits, it actually doesn't punch through the shield. Yet again, the plunger just makes it really hard for Pit to recover back to ledge. And yet again, just avoiding that up smash. Be like, okay, I see you charging it over there. I'm going to wait for that to finish, and then I'm going to punish it with like a back here to get you off stage. Ooh, I really like that from Elegant. He was able to weave back and forth from the arrows, but Kiraflex getting a very good ups, uh, up smash to punish the uh, down B, being right. a very, very patient player. I feel like he's kind of like learned his lesson from the first time. I was like, okay, Elegant likes to throw out the down B. So let's not like overcommit or like rush in before he like does that, you know? Yeah, right now Kiraflex playing it really, really well, keeping Luigi at the ledge, utilizing his forward air mostly to kind of make sure he doesn't get hit by this down air, by this uh by this nair or by this down B. Right. Playing playing the kind of runaway game a little bit and fantastic up smash out of shield from Elegant. Yeah, you can kind of see Caraflax shaking his head, be like, yeah, I, I definitely overextended right there. Because, yet again, you have to be super careful about hitting anything on Elegant Shield just because that up smash is just so strong and so quick. Ooh, I really like these arrows coming out to kind of just say, all right, let's see if you could try to get out. But, you know, that's that's a zero to death. He's been practicing that on me at our locals, and I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if you're ever going to hope to pick up Luigi, that's like the first skill you need to master is that zero to death combo. Yeah, just the zero to death, not really cheese. It's a very hard combo, in my opinion, to kind of do, uh, like when you're first picking up right. Luigi. But it's after like a few weeks, that should be, you know, very, very polished. Yeah, yeah again. And the, the next level from that is that how do you step it up at different percents? Mm -hmm. And how do you like. How do you like adapt to different weights and different floatiness? Because that could be the difference between getting like a 30% uh, down throw combo versus getting like an 80% combo, and mm -hmm. that's like a whole like that's a stock, that's a half a stock right there difference, pretty much. Exactly. Now getting into this with Kiraflex's Dark Pit this time around. Dark Pit being a more grounded base uh, version of the uh, of the Angels, actually, just because you would rather be on the ground a little bit more with. Um, with your side B and with your uh, forward tail, with your forward tail, and with your uh, especially uh, neutral B, actually, because you can't really, you know, be in the air and take out that much space. But fantastic down air to snipe out Luigi being so so low right after him using the down B. 
yet again, that's one of those things where like Uji kind of is weakened, you know, is that getting edge guarded. Ooh, just really scouting out Elegance's disadvantage right now. Just able to do so much off of that uh, one conversion. Just getting back to stage very, very safe too from Kirflex, a very patient player even though he's down again. Oh, that's a Kiraflex walk that I've been talking to you about. You could do a lot of things out of those walks, out of those very, very slow moves. Because in this game, you know, you could get punished out of dash because, you know, you can't really do anything. But almost getting him again, right? But gets super punished for getting hit by that single coin and then just panic up being again. Yeah, that's the Kiraflex walk that he's always famous for. But yet again, Elegant just trying to you know, throw out all these hitboxes in between him and Dark Pit, just trying to hope that one of them connects. And Dark Pit not really approaching knowing because like if I get grabbed once, I'm almost dead, if not like two thirds of the way there. Exactly, he's just using all these very safe hitboxes and just waiting for Elegant to swing first, actually. Right. He's waiting for Elegant to use his downer. He's us waiting for him to use his down B, and especially like just his out of shield options. And again, Elegant just struggling to find his way in, and Kirflag slowly just keeps Ooh. on zoning him out, and I feel like he took away the double jump, and there yep. it is right there. He took away the double jump with a uh, with the the up. No, I thought he neutral. took away. No, I thought he took away the double jump, but then he saw him double jump right there, so he just used the neutral air just to like seal the deal. But Kirflag already up a stock in this uh, in this set, but right. this is a uh, very very scary. Just trying to get back up from the ledge because Pit, very easy character, 2-2 two, two frame, no matter how good you are at just mixing up your uh, get-up options. Right. And then there's the back air into the stage, and I feel like that might have been an untouchable because you could see Kira Flax trying to, with all of his might, not die right there. Yeah, he was very, very good, but Luigi being very good at ledge trapping Pit just because oh. you saw that he got hit with, um, right. with a lot of just these punters. Yep. And you know what, Kiraflax got super lucky. He got face, he got grabbed uh, away from the stage instead of towards it. Yep. Because yet again, Luigi needs space in order to execute their combo. Wow, just trying to go for the jab, jab, grab, and trying to trying to cross up Luigi. Not very good, just because Luigi's able to have this super huge grab range. Right. And is this it? No, no it's battlefield, battlefield way too big. Yep. But the next time might be it. Oh, I really like Kiraflex trying to dare camp, which is which is what I I do a lot against this matchup, just because Luigi can't really do anything against you while you know you're in the air. And yeah. fantastic turn of events. That's what happens when you start you know kind of taking up the air a little bit more, like you said. Kiraflex likes to kind of dash dance throughout the air. All right again, no elegant is just throwing out all these down Bs. Just yet again, I feel like. Kirflax was able to make a comeback because Elegant is just not giving a single care about being hit by that. Yep. And yet again, he died. He died because he kept on going for those down Bs. And I feel like, okay, once once when you're at like low percent, you can't really die for it, fine. But yet again, Elegant just kept on going for it, just hoping that Kirflax would run into it. And just Kirflax wisened up after the first time he got hit by that. He's just like, I'm going to be way over here on the opposite end of the stage. And I might not be able to directly punish you for it, but I'm not getting hit by that move either, so I'm not going to die of it. Yeah, exactly. He would rather uh, wait for you to just keep throwing out those moves and wasting your resources and then punishing you when you're all done using your resources. But Fantastic Down B actually that time around catching Kiraflex. Right. It's one of those things where he tried to throw out a fair in order to like punish Elegant, but you know what? The invincibility and yet again, the grab, grabbing through the rapid jab too. And uh, Elegant messing up a little bit too much, and the Kiraflex just waiting for him to use all of his um, all of his resources. And I really like the down air, uh, the down tilt extension actually on Luigi. And Luigi not having a second regrab invincibility frames. Right. And again, Luigi throwing out all these hitboxes. That's gonna be death. Yeah, yeah. fantastic from Elegant, catching him, not teching. But this is very, very bad too. He's a uh, El Elegant getting edge guarded and really going for the Hail Mary, just waiting for him to press a button. Kiraflex, known as a person very, very good with neutral, is able to just kind of throw these out. Everybody doesn't expect him because he's 
thinking like, oh, hey, he's just going to respect me, right? Right. And yet again, Cure Flags hoping to get the snipe on the arrow, but Elegant not going to give it to him. He just eats all these dares instead. But you know what? He didn't get the heart spike on it, so he didn't die. And wow. What? It looked like he upbeat the wrong way, and then Luigi just like, like, teleported, auto just like, yeah. Like, is, is, that a, is Luigi a, a secret Shoto character? Does he have the auto turnaround mechanic? Because, oh my god, like. Nah, he's that. not a show. He's, he is the fighting game character. I can't wait to play as Luigi in Soul Calibur. Oh my god. <laughs> Luigi's just like, I'm going to show you why they called me the OG Shoryu, <laughs> you know, before all these Shotos came into my game. And the misfire coming in through, every Luigi needs uh, at least one per game. And I really like Careflex, just instead of immediately doing an option, just, or like throwing out a hitbox, just dances back and forth from the ledge, like, and then nearing back, but getting hit with an up smash. And I really like it. Elegant's just like rolling everywhere, doing a lot of things like, uh, uh, I, I got to get out. And Kiraflex is waiting and they're just looking at him. And yeah. Kiraflex not happy with that. After getting, you know, grabbed, yeah. Yeah, grabbed at like 60 and getting hit with 60%, he's just like, yeah, I don't want to play this anymore. I want to yeah. play Rob. Actually, no, he might go pit. I can see him pulling out the raw, but like yet again, like he's he's thinking in his heart and soul because like he also has a Lucina as a secondary or like as a pocket, so he might be reaching deep into his pockets and into the resource of his of his toolkit to be like, do I have an answer for this this plumber? This plumber has a wrench, and he's whacking me over the head with it right now. Do I have an answer to this wrench? You know? Do you think hammers beat wrench? He beats wrenches. Like, like in like in a in a toolkit like is there a toolkit like tier list? A toolkit tier list. Yeah, like <laughs> like you you have a hammer and then like a hammer is above like the the pipe. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, exactly. Like, but like the most top tier is the screwdrivers, just because you could use them for like everything. A shank. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You can use like are we talking about like a weapon tier list or like a, a usability? Like, hey, this is like a useful tool tier list. I think a uh, usability, but you know what? Getting in back into this, already a quick forty percent from elegant and. Unfortunately, SDing being a little bit too low, trying to go for the reversal right there. Right. And now Careflex with a lead is just able to sit back, make Luigi approach him, and hit him with the gyro, hit him with the grab, and just hit him with his down tilt setups. All right. Here we go. There's the jab. And yet again, Luigi's trying to get in, uses the down beat to you know, ward off any potential edge guarding that Rob might want to throw out. And yet again, here's all these down tilts into the down beat. You know, there and a grab is such a good combo for Luigi too, because like if it hits, then it connects, and if it, they shield it, then you condition them in the shield to like shield the grab too. It's just really bad time for anybody. Exactly, but coming in with the aggressive down air to try to get him off, the Kiraflex still one running away with this with 127%, still living from that up smash. And again, Luigi very very easy to edge guard with these types of characters that Kiraflex is playing. Right. I feel like. The upbeat, this is what he needed in order to edge guard Luigi, because he needed to be able to hover in the air in one place for long enough to get the punish on Luigi. Because he tried doing that with Pit, but Pit wouldn't have enough jumps in order to live. Yeah, and the range problem wasn't really a problem, uh, because Luigi, again, it doesn't have that many hitboxes that could, you know, stay out there. But fantastic back air coming out from Kiraflax. Yeah, again, now he has to worry about not having enough gas. He's burning oil, but manages to make it through the end of the night, only to just get hit by the tornado. Luigi Cyclone being so, so good. One of his signature moves in uh, every Smash game, unless it's 64. And those down tilts being so, so aggressive. Belgen being so good, knowing that the uh, Joe the is there. Wow, I am amazed that that last hit of the side B actually connected. Yeah, dude, Rob has a bunch of stuff. But, you know, saying, hey, Stop comboing me right now. I'm gonna just get out of it. All right. You can't immediately go after Luigi after a combo. But I think that's it. Utilizing the gyro really, really well. Kiraflax just pulling out three different characters on Elegant. And don't say, don't say Pit and Dark Pit are the same. They're different. Trust me. The different. Like two and a half. Yeah, two, two and a half characters. Two and a half All right. characters. All right, that that makes me satisfied. Like I, I'll agree that there are enough differences where like. You can't call them the exact same, but when you, when you the way you fight them is going to be the same. Yeah, the way you fight them is going to be the same, but like uh, the kind of approaches that they have are different enough. All right, but getting back into this game five on Smashville, hoping to close the gap 
faster to make Kiraflax, you know, a little bit more impatient rather than, you know, his very patient neutral that he is known for down here in SoCal. Right. And while just Kiraflax immediately throwing the gyro and respecting Luigi and just instantly trying to run away, get out of get out of harm's way, and trying to make Elegant utilize all of his tools as fast as he can. And yet again, Rob just able to you know, avoid anything that Luigi wants to go for. And yet again, Elegant thought like, okay, yeah, he's gonna land. He used up all of his resources, and then Rob was just like, nah, I still got tools. But going in super deep, and it, 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 he ran wow, out of gas. He ran out of gas just because Kiraflax knows that, hey, this is my win condition. I have to keep spamming my win condition of, right. like, edge guarding super, super hard. But because of that, and Kiraflex might not be, like, you know, too, too comfortable going that deep every single time, like, you, you might mess up and stuff like that. Right. And there, there we have it right there. And yet again, all that distance that he gets on the back air just makes it a super safe move. And you see Luigi, he Lu even Luigi picked can't up, punish it. it. He, yeah. had a, he had a projectile in hand, ready to throw it at him, and it still wasn't enough. Exactly. It's so, so hard for Luigi. And I'm so surprised that he actually was able to tech that because he was at like, what, 130, 140? Yeah. And that's going to be a lot of damage. Oh, no. He manages the DI super hard in, so he wasn't able to get the up B at the end. Yeah, it's kind of like a pseudo 50 50 to see whether they DI in, no DI, or DI out. And you just kind of have to a little bit place Luigi in a different spot. And really just trying to get the uh, Shoryu out of shield to kind of say like, oh, hey, yo, check it out. Don't press buttons. All right. But Kierflex being a very patient player as he is, does not press buttons. Oh, he manages to parry the jab, but you know what? Doesn't get too hard of a punish off of it. I like uh, Kierflex's parry into, what's it called? Spot dodge. Wow, and just able, Elegant's so good at punishing the neutral coming out from Rob. That move is like almost unpunishable. Yet again, he just barely managed to land, so gets his juice back, but like yet again, it's at what cost? But gets a spot dodge, and now he's off stage. He's, oh, oh, just barely manages to avoid the down air right there. Just both players are swinging right now, trying to just push their uh, their win condition in the uh, other person's face, but now Elegant, that was up super, super early before, is now looking pretty in trouble. One more neutral exchange could spell the death between any of these guys. Yeah. Oh, wow, the wow. gyro's saving him. Yep. And yet again, you know, this is going to be coming down super close to either player's side. Gets the tech option and seals it out with an up air. I know Kiraflax has the lead. You know, he, he just, you know what, this is even. This is even because Kiraflax has died at any move and then he can get grabbed at zero. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I'm going to see Kiraflax run away utilizing a lot more Nairs and Elegant trying to just, you know, use his win, like, his, like, hey, get hit by this so I could, you know, win the set button. Right. Or, like, no, take out the stock button at least. And Kierflex knows that, and being a, the top player he is, is just playing all around that. But rolling into the up smash, 59%, this is still doable from Elegant, but getting hit by the uh, invincibility. Right. And, you know, Elegant's just fishing for that grab in his mind. You know, he's just like, I'm going to grab you. Yeah, and just that grab coming out right there, just seeing if he could... Uh, punish that, but very, very hard with that gyro right there right. being very different. And you know, Kiraflex is also respecting the fact that I know Elegant loves to go for that down B, so he wasn't really willing to pull the trigger on certain things. But you know what? He'll take that. He'll take that. Well, He's yeah. out of the grab range, and you know what? As long as he doesn't get like grab into up feed, like he'll be fine. But you know what? Elegant. Oh, is that just trips. That's so huge. But he used that as a bait. <laughs> a bait, <laughs> you know, Luigi players in melee. Oh no! Oh, is that it? No, is that that's it? it. That's it. Oh. There's a back air. Oh! oh. Yeah. Popping off on Kira Flags, getting that super, super close grab yeah. down, down throw into back air. That was yeah. so clean. <laughs> oh, oh wow! Kira Flags, Kira Flags, swearing revenge on Elegant. Yeah, proclaiming no. he.